Hi and I welcome you to this video. Here I will explain about types of exchanges in RabbitMQ message brokers. We all know that RabbitMQ gets messages from a publisher and it routes the message to appropriate queues based on the requirement. And the appropriate consumer will fetch the message from the queue when it is required. In this flow, there is a RabbitMQ entity called Exchange which plays a vital role in receiving and routing messages from publisher to appropriate queues. In fact, it provides the publisher with an option to determine the queues to which the message has to be routed. Of course, each and every publisher has their own requirement to route messages to queue. For this, we need a rich routing algorithm to be in place. And this routing algorithm are provided by different types of exchanges in RabbitMQ. Based on the exchange type we select, appropriate routing algorithm will be used to route messages. So by knowing about different exchange types and its routing algorithm, you will have a better picture on possible messaging patterns in RabbitMQ. Before we dive into types of exchanges, I want to introduce you a couple of attributes in RabbitMQ which are used by exchanges to route messages. The first attribute we are going to see is binding key. This will be created when we bind an exchange with a queue. Note that every queue we create has to be binded with some exchange. Else the message we publish to that particular exchange will be lost forever. So every queue has to be binded with at least one exchange and a binding key will be created for each and every binding between a queue and exchange. The next attribute we are going to see is routing key. This attribute will be passed by publisher along with the message it publishes. So when a message is received by an exchange, first it compares the routing key with each and every binding key it has got. When there is a match between a routing key passed by the publisher and the binding key, the message will be routed to that particular queue. For this purpose of this tutorial, let's design a message pattern for a school mobile application. Here you have three queues binded to the exchange with different binding keys. And there are three consumers that fetches messages from corresponding queues. In this case, two queues and consumers are for students in grade 10 and 12 and the third queue and consumer is for all teachers. Well, now let's have a look at our different exchange types in RabbitMQ. The first exchange type we are going to see is Fanout Exchange. This exchange can be used to broadcast a message to all consumers. Basically what it does is, it routes all messages to all queues which are bounded to that particular exchange and ultimately consumers will consume messages from all these queues. Since the messages are routed to all queues, here in this type of exchange, a routing key will be ineffective and ignored. As I mentioned already, the main use case of fanout exchange is broadcasting a message. For example, consider publishing an announcement message to a mobile application used by a school students and teachers. There will be a scenario where the management will want to send out a message to all its students and teachers. Under such circumstance, a fanout exchange can be used to broadcast the message. Next exchange type we are going to see is direct exchange. Unlike fanout exchange, this exchange will use routing key and binding key to route messages. Once the message reaches the exchange, the exchange will compare routing key with binding key of all queues bounded to it. If there is a match between routing key and binding key, then the message will be routed to that particular queue. The use case for this type of exchanges are straightforward. For example, if you want to publish messages only to the 10th grade students, then this type of exchange can be used by sending appropriate routing key along with the message. Next exchange type we are going to see is Topic Exchange. Similar to Direct Exchange, Topic Exchange also uses routing key and binding key to route messages. The only difference in Topic Exchange is that it can handle wildcard characters in routing key. The character that will be in use here is star and hash. Star will match one or more words in a routing key and hash will match zero or more words in a routing key. For example, if the routing key is student.star, then the message will be routed to all students irrespective of grades. Next exchange type we are going to see is header exchange. This type of exchanges will use headers to route messages. Whereas a direct exchange and topic exchange will use routing keys to route messages. This is the main difference that header exchange will have in its design. Here the header parameters we pass in the message should match with the parameters specified in the binding queue. Only then the message will be routed to that particular queue. 
Now you have got a basic knowledge about exchange and its types in RabbitMQ. There are more advanced concepts in RabbitMQ and its exchanges. To fully understand those concepts, you need practical sessions with the demo. I have published a course at a very minimal price in Udemy e-learning platform and I have pasted the course link in description of this video. And this course covers each and every topic in RabbitMQ with full practical sessions. And on completing this course, you will be ready to work on RabbitMQ without any difficulty. On clicking the link in description of this video, you will be landing in my course page and on scrolling down, you will see more details about my course. And you can also watch my course preview videos for free. And remember that I am giving this course at a very minimal price for a limited duration of time. I believe you had a good introduction to RabbitMQ exchanges. And thanks for watching this video.